Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. You know, a few months ago we moved into this house back in July. It's been a good while now. And we have spent a lot of time doing some upgrades and um, changes in addition to just general decorating, putting stuff, putting our stuff out to make it ours. And so I hope you've watched the original tour video of our home and some of the ideas I had to fix it up and update it. And uh, please, um, there's a link below to that video and I'll put that in there so that in the description so that you can go back and watch that one. Uh, but here we are outside our house. It's a beautiful sunny day, a uh, couple days after Thanksgiving. And I wanted to show you some of what we've done. This is hanging in our living room over our couch. And so they built a life they love. Um, Diane found this at Magnolia. And it's kind of been our motto for 2022 in this transition that we've made. As you walk up to our front door, as so many people do in Charleston, there are lanterns. But I'm not a big fan of all the curly Q lanterns. So we found this more modern style and, of course, a doormat that says, Welcome! And so welcome into our home. Let me show you some of the things we've done. One of my goals is to do a bunch of smart home additions. We got this Wemo doorbell and um, it will pop video on our screens if we're watching television when somebody comes to the door or curse uh, on our phones will be alerted. All right, when you walk in the house, first room you see to the right is our dining room. And I love what we've done here. We, honestly, this isn't original to our thoughts. We saw this on a house that was staged when we were looking for homes down in Florida. And we owned that mirror already and we thought, well, they did the same thing with that mirror. What a great idea. So it's just got this dramatic feel to it. So great little space. On the left side of the door, we have this entry hall space to drop keys uh, and such. And check, check yourself in the mirror before you open the door to guests. And up to the left here is the theater. Let me go ahead and take a moment and show you that. Okay, one of the most um, fun rooms for us that we got to do is what we call our theater. Um, it just is a fantastic space. We painted it the dark blue walls, white ceiling. We got these special chairs, theater chairs that um, recline. Let's see if I press the button here. They recline. Just so cool. Built in uh, cup holders. <laughs> has a little blue light on it, the light built in to the headrest here. If you just wanted to use it as a couch, these fold up there. And then you've got six seats in here instead of the four with tables. But I am trying to make my house a little bit more like a smart home. So watch this. Theater on. And look, the lights come on, the fan starts, snack bar light, sconces next to the TV, and a chair light here. And then I have a scene where I say, movie on. The lights go off around and the sconces go to 10%. Fan goes lighter, softer. So this is fun. And then when the movie's over, I say something else. So we got these cabinets from World Market. We got two of them and put them side by side because we plan to have parties up here. And then there's a big buffet area for food. And we've got a game table, some of my Russia art that I've brought back um, when I visited in the past, snack bar just overflowing with great stuff and a popcorn machine. Got some dishes up here. This really cool sconce. Some more art. Little shelves put up here. Those are some of the things we've done to this room. Got a garbage can that looks a little bit more like a, 
like a public space rather than a home. We did that on purpose. So that's cool. All we've done in the bathroom is to put up the shower curtain and a uh, shelf over the toilet with some supplies. No big changes there. Back here is my studio space. And in here, it's not really done yet, but I'm setting up the area to paint and my desk and I'll end up putting all my microphone and lights and different stuff for my audio studio recording, video recording, stuff like that. All right, the theater was fun. Let's continue walking down the hall here. And to the left, this is one of the additions we did. We added these barn doors. We thought they'd be really expensive and difficult. We found them at Costco, great price. And they're just, we didn't like the way the door um, swung into the room. And um, so this made more sense to us. I've got it set up on an automatic motion sensor for the light because if your hands are full of laundry, um, that's very helpful. And then all these shelves that you saw in a previous video of a build, there they are all filled out. And a lot of that stuff on the counter is going to go on this back wall. I, fan I fully plan to tile the back wall, float some shelves, and then put our supplies back there. And then, of course, our washer and dryer. So that is our laundry room. Diane's so thrilled at the work I did on those cabinets, or the shelves and the, um, the bench there. So I love it too. I haven't changed out all the lighting in the house, but all of those domed lights that are called by a somewhat rude name um, on the decorating channels, I've changed out with these flat modern LEDs, so there's just clean light and um, shapes in the house. Okay, here is our gathering room, our living room, and all we've done in here really is the paint and the decorating. We haven't done a lot of upgrades to anything. It didn't need it. It's a perfectly beautiful room. Love it. Have all of our decor set up and uh, a very nice place. For the color in the walls we chose a pretty mild uh, scheme. Uh, it's kind of a, a lighter warmer white um, with a brighter white for the trim and then it's hard to tell in the light in this room. You can tell against the fireplace there. We chose a color called linen uh, for the back walls Eventually, over that fireplace, I plan to put some sort of a, a wood um, design up there to highlight and heighten, heighten the fireplace area, and that will be white. So the contrast of the linen and the white fireplace and the linen again is what we were looking for. We use that same linen color here in the dining room, and you can see because of the daylight coming through the window a little bit better the contrast. And then, of course, in the theater, you saw that we use the dark blue. Those are the only four colors that we chose. Two versions of white, the linen, and that deep blue. If you watched the original home tour video while it was empty, you recall me talking that we did not need a breakfast uh, dining area. And so eventually that light's going to come out. Right now it's just pulled up so that we could walk through here. We wanted to create a larger gathering area for friends um, if we have a small group over things like that this quilt we finally get to hang again it's been years had that made back in the 80s at one of the churches we attended so it's wonderful and then out here uh, is this green porch so let me show you that all right here is our screened porch love this space the morning light Come out here with coffee. Look at our trees in the backyard. Just a really nice space. And of course, Waffles loves it and uh, <coughs> likes to bark at stuff. But she's a dog, that's what they do. And of course, we have our little alligator 
here on the table. And the interesting thing is that I have had that for years. It was my mom's and she gave it to us. And so it's just funny that it's now where we're living, sort of kind of the joke. All right, between the kitchen and the dining room is this butler's pantry. And we've set that up as our coffee station. And no upgrades there, but if you've watched other videos, you know that I built these pantry shelves. And here it is all stocked up with various supplies and organizational things. We've watched the home edit ladies a lot, so we've applied some of their products and ideas. And uh, so we're really pleased with the way that came out. And then of course, our kitchen, which no upgrades yet in here, just decorating. Um, got the lemons and we like clean counters so there's not a whole lot of stuff out here no appliances other than the coffee station and the famed ninja and that's it um, so someday the backsplash will be changed out and someday I'm going to add under counter lighting um, but that's what we've done in this space not a lot of upgrades again just deck oh no, one most important thing is an instant hot water dispenser. I love this. Make my French press every morning and instant boiling water comes out. That's one of my most important upgrades in the entire house. And the other change that we made is adding these roll out shelves and how convenient are these so you don't have to reach back into the sink area. Just really appreciate the convenience of that. Walk off to this side and we've got our Disney room, which we're gonna do a full video on here. But this is our guest room that is decorated like Disney. And then we've got a bathroom to the left. You don't need to see bathrooms, but I do wanna say one upgrade that we did on all the toilets, we put soft close lids. Uh, because we just hate when the loud slam happens. And then in here is uh, another guest room. This is my mother-in-law's room for a few months of the year. She stays with us now, has already arrived, and we're so excited for her to be with us through the holidays and the new year. And so this is her room most of the year. All right, just some of the upgrades we've done is I've upgraded to smart thermostats from Ecobee and um, I can just use voice command to change temperatures and set um, uh, it times of the day or year where it's different temperatures. I did add smart fans throughout the house. Um, I made a video on the Hunter fans and I would encourage you to watch that as well. But you need fans when you live here in the South. That became very clear to us. Okay, right off of the living room to the left side of the house is an alcove that leads to our bedroom, the primary bedroom, and um, we really just have enjoyed the setup of it. It's nice television, again, another smart fan, and another barn door. That was the major upgrade in here. The reason for that is that the door would flip open into the bathroom and block the tub and be more difficult to walk by. So the barn doors just made sense for both of those spaces uh, and we love it. Okay, the garage is a mess and I really don't wanna show the whole thing other than say the only upgrades I've done here are these hanging shelves we got at Costco and added an LED light because it was so dark in here. And then of course we painted the entire garage. It was in pretty bad shape. And so this has been helpful, but I've got some more ideas for more shelving, slat walls, things like that. It just all takes time. Well, thank you for joining me on the tour of our house. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we have a few more things we'd like to upgrade over time, but you know, it all takes money as well as time. And so uh, those are in future videos, future months, maybe even future years. But there you go. Um, we've made a life. We've built a life that we're loving and we're, th we're thrilled about that, trying to make Charleston our home. So um, 
I hope you enjoyed that. If you would, please like and subscribe and join our channel and our journey. Leave comments, if you would, about ideas you have for us. Obviously, they're subject to our approval, <laughs> but we love ideas. Uh, or if there are certain things that you really liked and you'd like to comment on, uh, that would be great. Thank you for doing so. And, uh, and I'm flashing on the screen right now our closing phrase for our videos. Be good to others. Bye-bye.